With the design team I have here, everyone is open to new ideas and pushing themselves. So it makes it really easy for everybody to work together because there's not much ego involved. Our egos lie in the, the final outcome of what we're designing and what's best for the brand. I like to feed off people's energy. I like to feed off people's other, other people's ideas. I like to throw my ideas into the mix. So it's sort of a, you know, it's kind of a team effort. And I, I like that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's different from other ways of working, like when I'm painting. My intention was to sort of reference something that was widely known within our pop culture of art. You know, me being from born in Pittsburgh, I mean, when I was a kid, I remember going to the museums and seeing Warhol stuff when I was a very young age, and it was the first work that I saw that I was like, wow, that's, that's kind of different. Like, he's, he's doing something a little bit different. For instance, my paintings, I normally use a more muted palette, but I think that, you know, if you want to do something that's sort of resonates with people visually and has some punch to it, it's good to use pop colors because it really just sort of hits people hard. Drawing and painting and designing, they have different sort of functions. Um, I mean, if you're drawing something for a shirt, it has an intention, but if you're drawing something more personal, it goes onto a canvas or you're paint doing a painting, it's like, I always think about the intent and the overall outcome. A t-shirt, I think, needs to be a little bit more obvious, especially for like this Warhol shirt. I wanted something that was more instantaneously sort of recognizable. I went with the, a riff on the Warhol cow image he did um, using hyena because I kind of thought the juxtaposition was kind of interesting. Not only because Warhol's work to me is really inspiring, but also his rebellious nature as an artist sort of breaking the rules. That kind of ties in with what the brand does a lot when we do our designs. We kind of think that way. We always try to like sort of ruffle the feathers of the of the market a bit. So that was sort of the whole mindset behind that. You know, they always tell me to push the bar and just try to push the ideas and try to think outside the box. And, and that freedom allows me to sort of just really push the boundaries and, and try new things. And you know, sometimes not everything works, but most of the times, if, you know, if I'm sort of riding with my gut instinct on things, that things tend to work themselves out. You know, that's, that's how I do primarily all the design and, and even with my personal work, it's all based on gut instinct. It's all based on a feeling that I have. My name is uh, Dave Kinsey. I'm Senior Art Director for The Hundreds. I've been painting and drawing and designing pretty much my whole life. Hi, I'm Alina here at The Hundreds Home Base. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to The Hundreds YouTube channel for more exclusive videos below and check out thehundreds.com for the latest and greatest in street culture from around the world.